Good evening, Sam Matthew. It's Friday, you know. Um, I was watching through my window and it's still raining <laughs> and windy. But how amazing day when you're resting in, in the peace of the Lord. So I hope all of you have been resting in Him, waiting in Him, because the day is dark today, but the hope is that tomorrow will be sunny. This is what we have in faith in the Lord. So let's give in thank you to the Lord today and allow ourselves to, you know, to be blessed, to be in his hands. So we can, you know, to let the God then, you know, take care of us and bless him and worship him together today. So let's get started giving thank you to the Lord for what he has been done to us. Oh God, may I speak to say us. Oh Lord, may he to help us. Hear my prayer, oh Lord, and in your faithfulness, give ear to my supplication. Answer me in your righteousness. Enter into judgment with your servant, for in your sign you will know one leaf and justify. My spirit faith with me. My heart within me is desolated. I stretch out my hand to you. My soul God for my life and thirty land. O Lord, may hate to answer me. My spirit fail me. Hide not your faith from me, please, Lord. Lest I, I be like those who down to the pit. Let me hear of your loving kindness in the morning, for in you I put my trust. Show me the way I should walk in. For I lift up my soul to you. Teach me to do what please you, for you are my God. Let your kindly spirit lead me on this path. Review me, O Lord, for you seek me. For your righteousness seek, bring me out of trouble. Glory to the Father and the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and to be forever. Amen. Let's continue in our moment of prayer. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer reads before you, God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our heart and set us free to sing your praise now and forever. Amen. Forsake me no, O Lord. Be not far from me, O my God. Forsake me no, O Lord. Be not far from me, O my God. May hate to help me, O Lord of my salvation. Be not far from me, O my God. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. For see me, no Lord. Be not far from me, O oh my God. Our first reading today will be Psalm 33. It's a beautiful psalm. And it's a psalm that is a little bit long. And we're going to read part of the psalm. But it's a time when David was desperate from fight the grace of God in his life. So let's read in. Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger. Do not correct me in your wrong, because your arrow has sucked deep into me, and your hand has come down hard on me. My body is unhealthy due to your anger, and my bone has no rest due to my sin. My inquities loom over my head like cumbers more burden. They are too heavy for me. My wood has put a fatty and faster because of my fullness. I am bent over and work about greatly bound down. All day long, I go around morning. My insides are burning and my body is unhealthy. I am weak and utterly crushed. I am cry out and in distress because of my heart angusty. I am like the deaf who cannot hear, 
and like the mute who cannot open his mouth. Indeed, I had become like a man who hear nothing and in who mount there is no rebuke because I have planted my hope in you, Lord. You will answer, Lord, my God, for I say, do not let the gloat over me, and they congratulate themselves when they foot asleep. Indeed, I am being set up for food. I am continually remind of my pain. I confess my iniquity and my sin trouble me. But my enemy are alive and well. Those who hate me, for no reason are numerous. They reward my good with evil, opposing me because I seek to do good. Do not forsake me, Lord. My God, do not be so distant from me. Come quickly and help me, Lord, my deliverer. That was a time, very difficult time for, for David. And he was thinking that God abandoned him. He was thinking that God was really far away of him, but what God was doing was doing some discipline on him. And it's, it's, it's a very difficult timing when we need to go in front of God and recognize what we really have and what we need to put right with God. And I, David was telling the God, please don't forsake me. And, and I think that could be one of our prayer today. Tell the Lord, look at me, look at who I am and, and what problem I am. The gospel today is about Mark, the, the, the gospel of Mark, chapter 13, from verse 32 to then. And, and I, my meditation was in the morning was difficult. It's, it's a very heavy, Pass of the, the gospel. It's talking about the, the last timing of Jesus talking with his disciple. It's, it's great that we meditated what God wants to tell us today in our reflection. So let's read in, uh, the gospel of Mark, chapter 13, verse 32 to the end. No one know when that day or hour will become neither the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. Be careful, wash out, because you don't know when the time will come. It's like a man who went on the trip. As he left home, he put his servant in charge, each with of his own word, and he ordained the doorkeeper to be alert. So keep on watching because you don't know when the master of the house is coming, whatever is the middle of the night at the time of the cock crown or the daybreak. Otherwise, he may come suddenly and find you sleeping. I am telling you what I am telling everyone. Be alert. Uh, I was, you know, reading that morning and I, as a first time, I read that part of what Jesus was telling to his disciples. He was talking to them, and maybe was last or, or the last preaching of him. And maybe was one of the last preaching when he was telling the time is coming. In the Gospel of Mark, this teaching is from the very final hour of Jesus' ministry and life. If you read the, the book of, of Luke, that was the one of the last teaching. But in verse 37, he, he say, because it's complete the passage and because it feels like Jesus is looking beyond the time and distance. Now you read all the, all the verse, look like he's talking about the moment and he's living. But verse 37 is talking about beyond the time, in the distance. The passage follows a big description of the end of the time that expressed as total chaos and destruction. It concludes a long final sermon with the advice to stay alert so as not to be cash unaware. 
And I was thinking, how is my personal life? I am aware that Jesus can come in any time. I am aware that he will come in the morning or in the afternoon. We, in the last you know, decade, we talk very little about that. We don't talk about, about Jesus coming so much. And I am not talking about that because he's, you know, all the thing happening because we read the news and we say, wow, what is happening? The end of the time. I am talking about it and thinking more about what God wants me to know today about the end of the time, about me be alert, me be aware. The greatest secret of all the time is the Saturday and hour of the Lord return. Nobody knows. <laughs> he saying that not even he knows. What should our response be to this incredible answer to the one of life's most important question? Maybe we had doubt, frustration, disappointment. No, we know the heart of God because we have seen his heart re revealed to us by Jesus. We know his desire for us is that we be saved through Jesus Christ. So we don't have to be afraid or disappointed or waiting all the time. We know that he He's preparing something amazing for us. We know he lives and he will be back, but we need to be alert. He prepares something beautiful. He redeemed us and adopted us into his family, like Roman A say. So knowing that, you know, the time will be coming. We don't know when it's, but it's coming. What he say to us, be alert, be awake. You know, don't live like never this happened. Something's happening and the time will be coming, but we need to be alert. And how is the best way to be alert is to be prepared, be the best of our moment, be close to God, be aware of who is him and, and what is our life in front of him. So knowing what we know about God, we can be sure that his promise can be always be trusted. You know, and our future is securing him. Our task is to live for God and be ready for his son's return. That is our task. Be the best that we can from God. Be alert. Be all the time living like Jesus is coming tomorrow morning. I need to be aware of that. I need to be ready to go with him because nobody knows the time. But what Jesus wants is that we live knowing that he did everything for us in the cross. And we don't need to be afraid. We don't need to be afraid. We don't need to be always thinking about all the end of the world and everything is happening. And no, we need to be happy to know that Jesus did the best in the cross for us. He redeemed us and he adopted us into a family. But be aware of that all the time. Be in relationship with God all the time. The end of the time will be coming, but we don't know when, but we know something. Jesus died in the cross for us and he promised he will be back and we are waiting for him. So my reflection for me today was, I am ready, I am alert, I am aware of the amazing possibility that maybe Jesus coming today or tomorrow. I am ready. That's my reflection for today. It's amazing. So let's pray together. Let's pray to the Lord together. Dear God, thank you for your amazing love and power. Thank you for the way that you show yourself to us. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for you blessing us over all. Lord. Thank you because you die in the cross. Thank you because you died in the cross and you redeemed us. Thank you, Lord, because you promised you will be back. You will be got back to that land, to taking us with you. We don't know when, but help us to be ready. Let us to be ready. Let us to be that strong, powerful. 
and promise that you give in to us. Help us to be alert. Help us to be aware. Then you promise. You say you will, and we waiting for you, Lord. But we want to wait for you clean and in, in peace with ourselves and our brother and sister. We want to be ready for you, Lord. Thank you for your mercy and grace. You're giving us the opportunity every day to be ready with you. Thank you. You have been giving us the opportunity to go closer to you. Thank you because you have been always with us and will never leave us. Thank you for your incredible sacrifice so that we may have the freedom to worship you, Lord. Lord, thank you because you will come and we're waiting for you. We're waiting for the amazing day that we're going to see you. But in a moment when we are here, we want to live closer to you. We want to live Life in a way that you will be glorified. We want to glorify you. We want to be ready to be part of that big picture of your kingdom. Renew our spirit. Fill us with your peace and joy. We love you and we need you, Lord. Thank you for today. Thank you for your reflection. Thank you because we want to be close to you and you allow us to be. Help us to be alert, to be aware of your presence. Thank you, Lord. We bless you today. We give you praise and thank you for you alone are worthy, Lord. You are worthy of all my love and bless, Lord. Lord, we continue to worship you with that song. We continue to worship you. We continue your name, Lord, because you are amazing. Thank you for the opportunity that you're giving to us to know you, to know you closer. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Because you were is true and you answer us, Lord. Thank you for your presence close to us.
continue, Lord, to pray, pray in the Lord prayer to you, Lord. Oh, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven, giving us the day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, and we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Same be to God. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you for today. So we bless the Lord today. And I hope you have a wonderful evening and a wonderful weekend. And don't forget to be ready. Be alert. Be prepared because the Lord is coming. And we don't know when, but he's coming. We need to be ready. God bless you.